cooperate, Michelle. Yeah, you know, we have a very nice night on the way, Patrick. It'll be a little bit cooler than normal. Big change, though, from the temperatures yesterday, which were well above average. We're back to uh, 50s for highs today. So dress appropriately headed out the door this morning. Narragansett, bright sunshine. Skies have dried up for all but the Outer Cape still dealing with a few ocean effect showers there. This is a look at the rainfall totals from yesterday evening, picking up about a quarter to a half an inch of rain for most of us. We did have a few locations that came in over a half inch, almost three quarters of an inch of rain, parts of South County. It's a spooky day for us. Lots of sunshine, dry and cool. Temperature swings this week in our seven day cool start, milder midweek, and then another cool finish. And we change our clocks this weekend. So our sunset on Sunday afternoon will Drop to the four o'clock hour. How about the temperature drop this morning? We're running almost 10 to 20 degrees cooler than yesterday at this time. Yesterday's high 71. We'll only make it into the lower 50s today. Smithfield right now, you're at 41. Warwick's now into the lower 40s. 39 still being reported from Rhode Island College. It's been a near steady temperature so far this morning. Westerly's at 43. And Tiverton also running cool this morning at 43 degrees. Gusts up to 17 miles an hour. Winds will be breezy today, but not as strong as they were overnight when we were seeing gusts to 30 miles an hour. High pressure. And for Halloween, also happy weather. That H moving over New England today will provide the dry air and uh, stabilize our atmosphere for us. Means we're looking at a lot of sunshine. Notice how the clouds over the last few hours have just broken apart, and we are mostly sunny across Rhode Island right now. We'll hold on to that sunshine through the afternoon. This is this evening, and getting home from work, rushing around to get the kids out the door to do their trick or treating. And the skies look dry and clear. Temperatures falling quickly under those clear skies, and we wake up tomorrow morning to once again mostly clear skies this afternoon. Look for temperatures to climb up to around the lower 50s on average. It'll be breezy and cooler than normal, but dry skies. Sun sets at 541 this evening. Here we go at 6 o'clock or actually 5 o'clock this evening. Temperatures already dropping into the upper 40s to lower 50s. And by the time the kids are out running the neighborhood or running around the neighborhood, 7 o'clock in the evening, temperatures at 42 in Pasco, 44 in Coventry, 46 in Providence. New Bedford, you'll be dropping to about 45, Attleboro 43, Newport at 43 degrees. Then at 10 o'clock in the night, we're starting to see some upper 30s. Pasco, Smithfield right around 40, 43 in Providence and 41 in Newport. So a cool night ahead by midnight, most of us falling into the 30s. And then late tonight by tomorrow morning, we're in the mid 30s for overnight lows. Here's how the seven day looks. It's likely the coolest morning of the week tomorrow. Temperatures in the afternoon into the middle 50s, 64 for your high on Wednesday. So a nice jump in the temperatures Wednesday and Thursday, but Yet another cold front comes through for us. It's Thursday late in the day and evening. I'll give way to fading sunshine and some showers. Once it moves past, cooler air returns for Friday and your upcoming first weekend of November. You can get the future cast on our website. Today.